Hello and welcome to another tutorial. You already saw the intro, so you know what we're gonna be making today. And yeah, it's basically this scene going three steps on how to make this from simplest to most complex. First one just being using a regular depth map like here. Then we're gonna try using some volume fog. And then lastly, we're gonna add some lighting to the volume fog and add a bit more stuff and make the volume fog actually like be a part of the scene. Okay, so let's get started. The first comp, it's really simple. What you should have at the start is just your clip. I'm using these clips that have the gun and background already separated. Just to show the example, I'm gonna pretend I don't have that and just use this as the clip. Take your, take your clip and in a depth map, this is a studio only feature. So if you're on the free version, you can't use it but you can find some free ones on the So just plug it in and wait a bit. Then it should show something like this. It looks all right, but we can still make it better. So first change to from faster to better. Then check the post processing here. And now you can try to adjust the map levels a bit, if you can make it a bit better. Okay, something like this looks good. And now, since the depth map is really laggy, it, so to fix that, add in a saver node after it, and then just render the depth map. So choose browse and wherever you want to save it. So yeah, once you're finished rendering, you can just bring in your clip and drop it in. You should have something like, something like this. Now you can delete the depth map and the saver here, and bring in your new depth map here. You can connect this to a background, the background channel to luminance and invert it. Now you can merge it over your clip and you should already see some stuff happening. You can also go into the background here and play with these sliders to kind of change the depth settings. This and maybe this down. And now you can see it's going kind of over the gun. This is because the depth map is not perfect. If you want to fix that, you can use some sort of mask on the gun. So just the background, add a matte control, connect your mask to the garbage mat here. Now you got some really basic fog in the background. You can also add in a bit of, bit of depth of field with some defocus. I like to use the defocus gamma. The, you can find this on the reactor. So take your depth, add in a bitmap and connect your depth to that. In the bitmap, change to luminance and invert it. This is basically the same thing we did in the background node. Play around with the settings, maybe like that. And just connect it to the focus. And again, you can use the same gun for the mask, so it doesn't blur the gun. Now you got a pretty good, pretty basic depth. Let's move on to the next clip. And here you can see it already has a lot more stuff going on. If we open it, you can see quite a bit of stuff here already. So now, what we are doing is taking the camera track from the clip, plugging it, plugging it into a volume fog, and adding that into the clip, combined with the depth we already did. For this, you're gonna need your clip again. Then you can add in a camera tracker, and if you're again using some clip that has the gun in the clip already, you're just gonna have to mask over the gun so it doesn't mess up the track. But if you're using something like this, it's pretty easy. Just hit preview auto track locations and change the settings a bit. Maybe keep this at 0 0.015 and this down to like 1.5. Uh, then enable bidirectional tracking and just hit auto track. Like that. Now go into the solve tab and just hit solve. Okay, so after a little bit, you should have your solve done. Then you can clean it up a bit, maybe. Just delete those and resolve it. And now the average solver you're looking for here is anything below one and it should be good. Okay, that looks good. Now just hit export in the export tab and you can start. So you should have your six nodes here. You can open the camera. Uh, you don't need the ground plane and you don't need the point cloud for this one. So now what you can do is plug in a shape 3D, set this to sphere and scale it up a bunch. Okay, that 
that's good you can't see anything so now what we can do is remove the video from the camera go into the camera tracker make sure this is in hardware renderer and then in the output channels disable rgba and enable word position now you shouldn't see anything it should be just this empty thing here if you add in a channel booleans and change the red green and blue to x y and z coordinates you should see this kind of green thing like that just that's your word position coordinates that the volume fog is gonna use now the channel booleans is just for the visualizing you don't actually need it so we can edit that. so now add in a volume fog and then the camera itself should go into the pink input like this and now you should see this cube just appear so to see that a bit better take your clip and merge it after now in the translation part you can just move it wherever you want maybe here just and bring up the size so that's we are not gonna do anything complicated with this one yet so just something like this is okay so now you can go into the color tab and here change the color to whatever maybe give it a bit of a bluish tint here and then in the noise tab this is where you can make it look a lot better so bring up the detail here and then mess with the brightness and gain a bit like that maybe and then you can start moving the noise and change the scale to something a bit smaller now if you look at the clip you already see the noise kind of tracked in and that that's level 2 for you you can combine it the, with the first method of using the test map to get a bit better results like over here and uh, apply some other effects on top like uh, some glow over here defocus and you got a pretty good composite for the final level this one we got the volume fog with a bit more stuff and then also a lot of other comping on top like this kind of spinning smoke here is not actually volume fog it's just an overlay as you can see there's already a lot more stuff but for the, this tutorial we can kind of rule out a lot of this stuff like these are just particles not necessary uh, okay but everything else is okay we can keep it again we're gonna do the same steps as last time take your clip camera track it just like last one time okay so now instead of what we did last time of just exporting this we are actually gonna add in a merge 3d now take the set second output the one that's on the bottle and bring this into the merge 3d here now now you can see the point cloud that the camera created and we are just gonna clean up further most points from here to make that a bit easier we can go to the camera track and in the solve tab here show names and all we can take some of these that are really really far, far away and just delete them okay so now once you're deleted uh, some of the most further tracks you can now hit export just like last time Okay, and this time we are actually gonna use the point cloud, so don't delete that, only delete the ground plane. Okay, so now you should have something like this with a bunch of points. We are gonna go into the point cloud 3D here, and then add in a custom vertex, and in the vertex color, change these to position X, position Y, and position C like that then add in another merge 3D and connect your camera to that and you can delete these two so something like this here now it should look the same as last time but it's a bit different so now if you add in a render 3D here make the point cloud renderable like here, here. remove the clip from here Oh, also I forgot to mention but this render 3D also has to be in hardware renderer like that and 
now you can bring up the size a bit, maybe like 20, and you should have something like this. It's basically the same position coordinates, but now it's in the shape of the point cloud. So what we can do with this is add in a clean plate here, change this to ranges, and grow the edges and so just click fill to get something like this. Now this is pretty good, but you can see these really rough edges to fix that we're just gonna blur them away. Something like that is good. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is add in channel booleans here. This check second tab, enable extra channels and change the position X, Y and Z to red, green and blue. So now if you click up here, you should see your positions here. So now we can add in the volume fog again and connect the camera 3D. So now if we go into the color trap and enable fog only, you should see something similar, similar as to last time. But now what we can do is go into the translation and use the peak feature to move it anywhere in the scene, just like this. It's kind of laggy but it's a whole lot better and you can see it goes wherever we want it to so in the scene i was last showing you i had some on the ground here just i think it was a sphere just a brought up the soft edge to something like 1.5 and now you can see the fog actually like follows the shape of the ground like this it's it's a lot better than last time. So now what we can do is again just change the detail here, add in some noise. And that's basically what I had in this clip here. Just just some really basic ground fog. And now this second one is a lot better. As you can see it kind of has some lighting over here, different colors. So to do that do that we can add in a, another volume fog like that and just set up it the same way as last time you know pick the position change it a bit place it maybe here okay and now go into the noise tab and do the same things as last time like that and now what we can do is so now what i didn't tell you last time the pink one isn't just the camera input, it's also the scene input. So what we can do is add in a merge 3D and connect, connect something like lights to here. Like, uh, I think a point light would be good. And then in the volume fog, enable lighting. So now in the merge 3D, this is a bit scuffed because you can't actually see the volume in the 3D space. But I'll still try to explain. Uh, move the light to wherever we need it. Maybe here, and then in the volume for, uh, no, the light, change it from no decay to linear, or the second one, this, and just play with the settings. And you can, you can start seeing the lighting coming. To make this even better, you can add more lights, different colors, something like this, move that to different places. And yeah, that that's basically the way you can make this volume folks and stuff. So if we go back to the this one here, you can kind of see how it looks combined with everything else. Now actually, when making this tutorial, thought I could make something original because I hadn't really seen anything with volume fox but actually like two days ago I think it's called Fusion Brew posted a really good tutorial about the volume fox like just as I was making this so it I guess it's not really that only original anymore but I hope I still taught you something new about it I'll also link the uh, Fusion Brew tutorial in the description if this was helpful leave a like